Welcome back to Colorado Homes On Demand brought to you by Cobble Banker. We're delighted to have Wade Perry joining us again to provide us with the Luxury Home Report. Wade, great to have you back. Good to be here, Chris. Thank All you. Right. Hey, you know, there's a perception that there's a high season and a low season in Colorado real estate. When there's snow on the ground, what should sellers be thinking about in the luxury home market? You know, Chris, there's, there's a misperception, in my opinion, that homes sell more in the summer, that there's a high season, low season, and uh, they sell every single month of the year. It's true that more homes sell between May and September than October and April, uh, but they do sell every single month. Now, what people fail to realize is that right now, May is just 60 days away. The hot selling season is right upon us. We've got very low inventory in this price point. We've got prices down about 10%. And also lenders are beginning to lend in this price point for the first time in years, which creates affordability. So if you're a seller and you're considering selling in this price point, uh, the first thing that I'm gonna counsel you to do is meet with your realtor and meet with them now. You need to get a very firm understanding of the pricing and the days on market in your particular area. You need to have a written strategy for pricing and pricing adjustments. Uh, you need to also consider a pre-sale home inspection so that you know what's coming. Um, quite frankly, with all the dynamics that I just listed, we could have maybe the most active summer and spring than we've had in years. Uh, but you've got to act now so that you're ahead of the market rather than waking up in June and being behind the market. Well, great recommendations. Let's talk about expectations. Now, based mm -hmm. on the actual market data, how would you manage expectations of sellers in today's high-end market? You know, managing expectations is one of the most important aspects to uh, managing a smooth transaction in real estate. Uh, nobody likes surprises unless, of course, you're a five-year-old on Christmas. And the first step at managing expectations, you've got to be in tune with reality of the numbers. What is reality? In, in January of this past year, uh, 2011, uh, the average home sale above a million dollars sold for 84 percent of original list and it took almost nine months to get there well when you factor in that a home of that magnitude million five three million dollars you could be looking at ten thousand to fifteen thousand dollars per month in monthly expense well imagine trying to wait nine months which could cost you a hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollars in money not to mention the emotional cost just to take a 16% hit on the price. My suggestion in that respect is get ahead of the market, price to the market, ahead of the market as opposed to chasing the market. The second part of that is I think that people have to get really in touch with what I call dates and dollars. Really have a firm understanding of what's important to you. And what I mean by that is if you've got a date in mind that you want to sell by, whether it's 30, 60, 90 days that you want to be under contract, well, then you need to be flexible on your dollars. If dollars are important to you and you're saying, I really need to get a million six out of this or two million, well, then you must be flexible on dates. The really funny time, uh, Chris, is when I meet with sellers and I ask them that question and they both in unison say both. Well, <laughs> you can't have both, unfortunately. And last week, actually, I met with a couple, and, and after asking that question, uh, she said dollars, he said date. So Led to a very, very interesting <laughs> conversation right after that, but we finally worked out what we need to do. And, and uh, if you're not in tune with your dates and your dollars, you could be setting yourself up for frustration. So when it comes to managing expectations, know your dates and dollars and know your numbers. Market knowledge makes all the difference, obviously. You bet. Great to have you on the show. Thank you, Chris. All right. Coming up, we'll get the latest entertainment beat from Tracy Graff. But first, take a look at these featured properties marketed by Caldwell Bankers Finest Realtors.